welcome back. It's me, Sunny. Today, I have a fun project for you. I'm gonna teach you how to make floating shelves from scrap lumber that I have found on the job site. This is a fun, easy project and a great way to spice up your home and not to mention, save some money. So without further ado, let's cut some wood. First step, I actually found a two by six. It's not scrap, but you can use scrap. I'm gonna use this two by six, measure it into three, three foot pieces. This way, with the two by six, the shelf will hang five inches off the wall, which I think just looks nice. So let's measure up and use my favorite chop saw to cut some wood. Now, I'm actually going to be measuring three foot and one inch, because I don't like to use the rough end of the wood. It just looks nicer for your shelf. Have our three pieces. Now that I have my three pieces cut, I'm going to rip them, but I want to rip them at a 45 degree tilt. I'm going to adjust my table saw. As you can see, you can see what degrees I'm at here. So I'm going to tilt it all the way to 45. Lock it into place. And rip some wood. The front of my shelf needs to have a 45 degree angle on both sides, so I'm going to cut one board one more time. Now that I have all of my pieces cut, I need to cut my end boards. So I'm going to cut these, then I'm going to glue everything together and pin nail it. And to keep it extra tight, I'm going to use a clamp. Let's cut some wood. Got these. Now let's glue everything up nice and tight. We are ready to glue everything together. So I have my handy dandy wood glue, not lube, glue. <laughs> and we're gonna glue these together and I'm gonna use my pin nailer to pin nail them. Make sure your ends are flush. We don't want a wonky shelf. to always use a lot of glue. Now I'm going to take an end block, glue that up. This could be a little messy. That's okay. Now that we have everything glued and pin nailed, we're gonna clamp it up nice and tight, like this. And while this is drying, I'm going to rip and cut my board that is going to help secure this to the wall. Before I chop my wood to secure this, 
I am going to measure the space that we are uh, fitting it into. I like to leave a small gap on the side. That way, you know, if it's not quite centered, we have some adjustment. So let's do, I'm going to say 27 inches. Now that I have this measured to length, I want to rip it to an inch and a quarter. So let's go back to the table saw and rip this down. Now I'm going to drill some holes for my screws. So I'm going to go grab my drill. Now that my glue is finished drying and these are all set to go, I have my wall mount already screwed to the wall. I did it 16 inches to center. So if this house was finished, it would still be on a stud. We're gonna take our shelf, secure it onto our wall mount. And I've drilled my pilot screws. And this is how you secure it. Just like that, <laughs> this is how your floating shelf will sit in your finished home. I love it. I just think they look so nice. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in this floating shelf project. If you don't already, follow me here and on all of my socials at Sunny Moon. Hit me up in the DMs if you have any questions, craft requests, or want to see some extra content. Until next time, I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you soon.